we are back in the snowmobile and putting groceries away. We are gonna be spending the next couple weeks on the road and I will fill you guys in a little bit more later, but yeah, getting ready to put all the groceries away. I think I hear a storm crying, so I'm gonna go help him. Turner's got his remote control car he's playing with. I have a lot of toys to organize, uh, but first I need to put the groceries away. All right, Captain Trav, you ready to go for this like three month vacation? Three months? Or three week vacation. I was gonna say, wow, what, did we change some plans? <laughs> yeah, we're going to, uh, did you tell me we're going to three different states in three weeks. One week or so at each state. Which state are we going to? Well, that's a surprise. You're gonna have to watch tomorrow to find out. So, I had an unfortunate situation with my hair. I don't know if you guys can really tell in this lighting or not, but um, <laughs> the hairstylist that I went to last told me to buy this like color refresh if I noticed my hair getting kind of brassy. <laughs> so I put it in and now my hair is orange. Um, it almost like made it brassy. It's kind of hard to tell right now. I guess it doesn't look too bad on camera, so that's good, but in real life my hair is orange and I need to figure out that situation so and of course I'm traveling to a bunch of places where I don't know any hairstylists and it's hard to try to get in like last minute you know and no offense to hairstylists that have lots of openings but <laughs> you know what I mean Okay. Hey, Storm, relax, dude. It's not working! Honey, it does work, okay? You're just stuck somewhere. There's a lot of tortilla. Storm, calm. Calm yourself. Where do these go? Do these go in the fridge or? Um, All right, let me show you guys more of what is in our fridge. So we have some baked or I guess cooked squash. Alright, some squash. We'll reorganize this when we're not driving, but right now I'm just trying to get everything in so our food doesn't go bad. Got some yogurts. This is the yogurt that we like. Vegan cream cheese. Some bread. Chili garlic sauce. These protein shakes, date balls, energy balls, homemade, and a phone in there, an apple. dry food that I need to put away. So my mom bought these for the kids. We don't usually buy this type of stuff just because it's really expensive, but the grandparents like to spoil our children. <laughs> so got some homemade peanut butter cookies that my mom made that are really good. The strawberry lemonade um, liquid IV is really good. I put that in my waters. Pretzels, chips, popcorn. This is by far my favorite popcorn. This lesser evil. It's so good. It's the Himalayan pink salt one, some almond butter, this ranch. I haven't tried this yet, so we'll see how it is. These barbecue hippies are really good. We've got some organic peanut butter. This is really good, this 
crunchy cookie butter. The kids just eat it off a spoon. Um, these are vegan gummies that my mom got the kids. Organic fruit gummies without gelatin. And some rice, some nuts, oatmeal, pasta, just all kinds of yeah, stuff, got raisins. Yeah. Well, good. Big difference. 269 yeah. versus five bucks. Mm-hmm. I don't know how, but things get so dirty in here, so just wiping everything down. We just got to our campground. Look how beautiful it is here. Is our beautiful snowmobile. I don't know where we're going, but look at how pretty. I'm happy that we got here during or before dark because at nighttime, when you haven't been here yet, it's hard to drive the motor home in. Wait, oh, right. we don't want to bump into him? No, we don't want to bump into him. Mommy, I'm not a very good driver. Well, you're not old enough to drive yet, baby. Okay, let me help you. Hey, so we are now in bed and I am exhausted, even though like we literally just drove for six hours today, but I don't know why I'm so tired out. You drove, you drove the motor home? No, I said we drove. Yeah, like, no, I know. I'm just kidding. But I get so tired, even though like we just drove all day. I don't know why that happens, but I don't know. It's kind well, of exhausting. <laughs> it, get, it can... It, People think so. I mean, sometimes driving in your car on like a long desert straight road is like pretty mellow, but when you're driving an RV for like six hours and you're towing and stuff like it's mentally can get like tasking and yeah. stuff because you're constantly, there's like no down chill time. Like you're constantly on guard, like for you. watching. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Like as the and driver, I mean. yeah. for me, it's just dealing with the kids like non-stop in a small space you know without yeah. them having like tons of room to do stuff and trying to make sure they're fed and you know entertained and not freaking yeah. out over being in car seats for so long um but well, one thing like you know we talk about all the time i think people ask between like fifth wheels and motorhomes like class a's and stuff like that mm -hmm. you know like you totally prefer long drives oh yeah and like the class, the class a. a hands down yeah, yeah. Well, just because, like, we can use the bathroom, we can lay down in bed and go to sleep, we could cook, like, and use the stove, you know, like, there's just so many yeah. benefits. We pull off, like, quick examples when we're driving and I gotta use the restroom, I pull off the ref stop, mm -hmm. I just, like, literally, like, go walk to the back, go pee, and then, boom, you know, make something road. real fast. Yeah. Like, you don't have to get out of the car, like, you don't have to do anything. Yeah, it's so nice. Yeah. So, really oh my gosh, it. you guys, we got the best freaking news about the house that we're under contract with so we can't tell you everything yet just because like we haven't got keys so it, it's not like official official but like we are under contract like everything's going way better than we thought it like would go and once we do get keys and everything's finalized we'll tell you like <laughs> what's going on we're like freaking shocked at like what happened so it happened late last night and we heard back from everything and like we were Travis was like got like a celebratory beer and I was like so excited <laughs> and it was just like one thing after another thing after another thing that like went in our favor like big time for buying this house and there's well, such the like first, a story behind it of like how we got it yeah and the, no one else did the first because, thing I have to say is like it's really off of you really got to think of like my, your mindset. Mm. We got an email and the majority, I'll just say the majority of people would not be happy, not be excited about the email mm. and not be happy at all with like with the news that we got. And I was like, no, I'm this is great news. Yeah. And but I had this whole different spin mentality of like what I was thinking and mm -hmm. what I wanted and what I was like focused on. 
I'm like, this is how we're using this. Yeah, like, it's hard for like them probably watching right now because they have no idea what we're talking about. But I promise <coughs> we'll explain everything. But we just don't want to like <coughs> say anything yet in no. case it doesn't but, go through. So, but perspective so, on things. Yeah, like having a good perspective. So like yeah. the way that you look at things, you can look at it as like a really negative thing or a really positive thing. Just the way that you look at the world and view it, you know. And so, um. I am going to freaking freak out if like what I asked for happens because that's going to just be the coolest freaking thing ever. And this has never happened before with any of the houses that we've bought because we've never really been in a situation like this. So I will keep you posted, but yeah, very exciting, good stuff all happening. And hopefully if all goes well, we will be getting keys to our new house in Tennessee with land like a little homestead cottage in the forest that's like super private and secluded and everything we could have like dreamed of <sighs> with like amazing views oh i'm just so excited are you so excited yeah it's super cool yeah. i mean you say the little it's not it's not by any means a little cottage but okay <laughs> i mean it is compared to <laughs> our last you know. homes it's just it's just different that's all I mean, our little house in the forest a little yeah. prairie house i mean on the i forest. don't think it's a small a little house but i'm just saying compared to the last homes we've had this is like half the size mm. of the cabin and no. it's not okay well maybe i'm wrong then i don't know what i'm we'll talking about clearly more later, but it's but... a house in the forest and it's private and secluded and it's on land and it's gonna be my little happy homestead and i'm so excited so anyway we yeah. will keep you posted if you pray or you like put out good vibes please pray and put out good vibes that we everything goes smoothly everything so far is like going amazing but that everything like happens as it should and then we get keys by the end of the month and i cannot freaking wait to show you guys this new house and what our backyard is like the forest well our whole our whole house is in the forest it's so cool i can't wait to show you mm -hmm. anyway thanks for being here thanks for watching i can't wait to show you we're in north carolina right now we're at a campground we're staying here for a week then we're going to south carolina for a week then we're going to alabama for a week and then we're going to be hopefully going back to you tennessee ruined to all the surprises house. this is not a surprise i want them to have some fun things to look forward to of where we're going well, so it's gonna be like more like a where's waldo where's waldo we're actually <laughs> what we need to find it are the good thrift stores around here because i'm picking a, new, a patreon member to go shopping at the thrift store for their giveaway over on patreon so yeah. we need to, go, we need to look need that to do up some investigation where we're like around all anyways yeah, like where so, we even are. We don't even know. We're just well, I know. I just I'm. <laughs> well, I know where you know where we are, but like, what to do stuff. in that? Oh, you're thinking about real estate stuff. I'm thinking about or like what's a vegan restaurant. Fun yeah, stuff to do with the kids, like out here, or like cool homeschool stuff I can do with them. And I don't know, maybe there's we a cool museum to take sticks for them to color them and to, paint and stuff. Yeah, we'll mm -hmm. have fun stuff yeah. going on. But anyway, tomorrow maybe we'll do like a what like a day in my life as a homeschool mom of two traveling in the RV or something. I don't know. Maybe we'll do something like that. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy. And I hope to see you in my next video. Mwah. And you know, we'll be here. Will you? Will you?